Hi there, and welcome to the Home Studio Rescue here on YouTube. My name is Chris, and today I'm going to be making a video in Logic for a buddy. Uh, I normally don't work in Logic. It is a fine program. Um, I don't discourage, discourage anybody from using it, but um, this is not what I normally work in. So um, I made a video on EQing drums, and I used the Lo-Fi plugin in Pro Tools to tame this room mic that I'm about to play for you now. And um, my friend asked how I how he could do that in Logic. And so, unfortunately, it took three plugins to do it. Um, at least that's how I figured it out, or it's, it's close to what I did in Pro Tools with the Lo-Fi. Um, with the Lo-Fi uh, lo plugin, there's a distortion on the left, and on the right, there's a saturation, which is more of a fuzz. And so I use the fuzz kind of as a low-end boost. It kind of like, it just kind of fattens things up. And so um, I'll just, I'll play the, uh, the room mic as it is right now. It's just kind of thin sounding and... Um, there's just a lot of cymbal splash and all that stuff. And so um, so what I found first was this bit crusher. And um, I also, I'm going to use a gain plugin, which is the same as the trim plugin in Pro Tools, just because it's it, it boosts the volume pretty w uh, a good bit, and I'm not quite sure how to fix that. So uh, outside of adding a, a gain plugin. So. so I'm adding distortion that it's kind of a high-end boost and this plugin is kind of cool because you can do the Mario Brothers thing or the Nintendo sound also has a nice mix but this is kind of the bit crush sound uh, that wasn't really what I was going for in Pro Tools also you can take down the 24 the resolution down I don't really see that that's not quite what I was doing anyways but I don't know. So there's some cool features in there. Um, but I'm using this more as a high-end boost. And then you can kind of mix it to taste. Um, and then the other plugin I added was a distortion plugin. Now you can find all of these in Logic. They're stock plugins. You just go to distortion. There's the bit crusher. There's the distortion. And then uh, the gain plugin. I'm trying to remember. There it is. Utility. Right there. Gain. Now the other thing is it's got that little phase switch. Um, so you can check your phase on your drums right there. You just flip that against the overheads or like the kick or the snare or whatever. You know, I have a video on that if you want to see it on checking the phase. But anyways, so then the last plugin I'm going to add is this distortion plugin. So we'll hear that. And this... This plugin, I'm actually a pretty big fan of it because I, this is cool. It's got, this is a low pass filter here, here the low end, and it's like a tone knob basically, but um, you can kind of decide how much low end you're going to sculpt here. And this is the output. You can kind of trim back everything, which I wish this plugin had that, but this does, so that's cool. Um, and so I think I was at about 390 there. And so if I turn these off, that fatness kind of goes away. And I think this, this distortion plugin's adding the fatness. And then I'm using this bit crusher to add some high end. So this drive is basically like a like a high shelf or something on the EQ. And this is kind of like a fatness, like low end, like uh, I mean, well, literally it's at 390. And so it's just I think it's pumping up everything around uh, from 390 down. Well, and then you can use all this stuff to taste like. apologize for the little clicks and pops. I usually don't record in uh, Logic, like I said, but um, I'm just kind of doing this winging it right now. And so 
really, you just kind of have to experiment with this stuff. Um, but this is my solution for not having the lo-fi plugin in Logic. Uh, so you need a bit crusher, gain plugin, and the distortion. And that all comes with Logic. So there you go. Um, so if you guys have a better way of doing this, like I said, I'm not a Logic user. I'm just doing this for my buddy Donnie uh, just to give him um, just some free things he can do to kind of come close to that sound. So I'm actually... <laughs> kind of happy that I even got close. So, uh, but if you guys know a better way, if there is a lo fi plugin in uh, Logic that I'm just not, I don't know about, please leave a comment and let us know. Um, most of the videos I saw about doing lo fi in Logic had plugins that you would have to pay for. So, this is a free solution. Uh, I hope it helps. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. I make a lot of videos on mixing and recording and uh, just stuff in that world, product reviews, all that jazz. So uh, like I said, uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next one.